All right, we are back in the garage. I wanted to do a follow-up to my Meguiar's video. If you haven't seen that, I did a video on fixing the pinstripes that were all over my Bronco due to the Oregon BDR. Both those parts are also up. So if you wanna see it from beginning to end, go check out my trip on the BDR. Then you can go check out my Meguiar's video on what the BDR did to the Bronco. And now this follow-up one month later to show what the results look like after a month of being in the rain and driving around. I haven't washed the car since then. Here in the PNW, this is the anti-car washing season. It just rains all the time, so I don't really bother washing it all too often. But it is a beautiful late fall day. Well, maybe not late, but late October day here in the PNW. So I wanted to show you what it looks like now and some of my thoughts on what I might do different next time. I think too what a lot of people missed in the other video, I wasn't trying to make this seem like this is a professional restoration of your paint. It is not that at all. It is a simple DIY solution to mitigate the problem as much as possible. Will it get rid of it completely? No, it will not. Do they come back? Yes, as the wax kind of washes off, you know, the wax fills in some of those little scratches and they look more pronounced again once the wax starts coming off. So I wanted to show you both sides and kind of give you my thoughts. If you didn't watch the video, I used a different pad on each side. There's obviously a difference. Going forward, I'll use that other pad, but let me show you. The passenger side is what I did first. And as you can see here, compared to my first video, some of these scratches are back and more pronounced again. I can't feel them. You can't feel them with your fingernail. So that tells me it's not past the clear coat. And I'm hoping the GoPro is picking these up. Let me look at it from this side. You can see all along here, a lot of them are more pronounced again after a month. Now let's go look at the driver's side. This driver's side is where I use the more aggressive pad and you can definitely tell a difference. Again, some of them are back. You can see there, some of them came back and both sides were equally as trashed. But you can see this side, a lot less of them have come back. My other video, I pointed out a real squiggly one here. That one has not come back at all. There was this, I also pointed out this little Z-shaped one here. That looks the same as after I did the Scratch X. Again, some down here have come back a little bit. Go watch the before and after. I will take what it looks like now compared to what it looked like before. What I will say is be careful not to get the Scratch X on any of your plastic parts. As you can see here, it discolored my fenders when I was using the buffer. To come around, I'm gonna try another Meguiar's product that I've used of theirs also. It's called, let me grab it, Ultimate Black Plastic Restorer. You can use that on all your black plastic trim pieces outside the vehicle. Again, I've used this before too to help restore it. So let's see how good this works. Okay, now again, this is not a permanent solution. You do have to reapply this, but it helps condition the plastic and it makes it look like new. I've had this poor pad when I bought like a whole Meguiar's car care kit and this poor thing. That's what I've used this for is for the black magic stuff. So I probably need to replace this. So you shake it up and then you dab a little bit. Come on, there you go. Put a little bit on the pad and I like to kind of dab it around the pad a little bit. And then same thing, I kind of dab it around and then rub it on. So we'll see what it does with these discolored spots, if it helps it at all, or if I totally ruined my fenders. And it looks like it's not working. All right, so, you know, I wasn't sure if it was gonna work or not to help restore it, and it is not. It's making the rest of it look nice, but it is not taking the discoloration out. I've seen some people, or I've had some people tell me, take a torch to it or something, you know, from a distance, and it'll get rid of some of these scratches that are in them. It might help restore, or get rid of this white. It took some of it out, so I won't say it didn't completely work. Actually, rubbing on this seems to be taking it out. Now, granted, you shouldn't have to do this with this product. It's not a cleaning product. It's simply a conditioning and kind of restoration product. So it is taking it out a little bit. I bet you if I sat here and scrubbed and scrubbed, let me take you out of the door here. So you can see, you can definitely still see it. Does it look better? Yeah, I mean, it started to take that area away. This still is really white. There's a really bad white spot right there, but it helped a little bit, but you can see how much more shiny this looks now. I'm not gonna do it to all of them. This was just to check it out. I just was curious on whether or not that would work. I'm not here to clean the whole car 
right now. I got other things to do today. I just wanted to make a quick follow-up to show you the results. Again, I think a lot of people took that video out of context. That was not a video for professionals. There are much more involved methods like wet sanding and getting into all that that 95% of us are not gonna do. And that video was not geared towards those people that are gonna do a professional job. It was what can 95% of us DIYers do to get it looking better than it did before. So I got this pad kit off Amazon for any 10 inch orbital buffer. I highly recommend the orbital buffer over the little drill pads. I will put the link to this down in the description. And I pointed this out in my Meguiar's video. It comes with three pads. It comes with like a faux wool pad. I use that to put the wax on. Wax on, right hand. Wax off. Left hand. And then it came with these microfiber pads. And that's what I use on the passenger side for the scratch X. And then it comes with, I don't even know how to describe this material, but it is definitely more coarse than the microfiber pad. And this is what I used on the driver's side. I think next time, usually I will give the car a good buff and wax and everything twice a year, right before winter. And then right, right after winter, when it's not raining. When sunny season comes around next spring-ish, I will do both sides with this pad again and see how she looks after that. So wrapping up this one real quick. I just wanted to show what that product looks like after about a month. So that's it. I just wanted to come back and show you guys kind of what it looks like after some time has passed, you know, what you can expect as far as results. And again, my pinstripes, some of them were deep. Those are likely more than you will experience just driving around, you know, getting little swirl marks from the car wash or whatever it is. I've used this product before on other vehicles and it does take those small little swirl marks and scratches. It does make those go away for sure, they don't come back. These big pinstripes, I'm still pretty impressed with how deep they were. Again, go watch my video to see how bad it started off to what it looks like now. And that's just doing it one time. I did two treatments on each side real quick and that's what it looks like after a month. So I think that's pretty good for the cost, like 17 bucks for the kit. I mean, you can't go wrong with that. You wanna get into wet sanding or take it somewhere, you're gonna pay hundreds, maybe even thousands to do professional paint restoration. I think that looks pretty good. If I had time or or it wasn't, you know, rainy season, I did it again, it would probably look even better. Anyway, I appreciate you watching so much. I hope you enjoy this update video and we'll see you on the next one.